Welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. Our Lenten theme this year at Grace is seeking God's light in the darkness. After all, our faith isn't one that only promises light after darkness, but we believe, and the gospel illustrates, that Christ is with us in the darkness of our lives. And we all know about darkness. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night, we read in John's Gospel. Our world gives us the benefits of daylight savings time. God gives us the gift of darkness. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. He was in the dark in more ways than one. Lent is the season that encourages us to address the darkness that we live with day by day. Our darkness has many names, but suffice to say, our darkness, like Nicodemus's, can leave us feeling less than whole, that something's missing, that we are on the wrong path, that there's little room to move, and that the light seems far beyond our self-limiting horizon. Just think of all the darknesses you live with. The darkness of grief fills the wells of our inner emptiness. The darkness of sickness can sabotage what would have been our very best efforts. The darkness of betrayal obliterates the trust we need to move forward in relationship. The darkness of poverty crushes that new and fragile life whose first gift is promise and whose lasting gift is hope. The darkness of prejudice can starve us of the necessary nutrients that feed our spiritual bodies, that enable us to grow more fully into the stature of Christ. The darkness of doubt paralyzes the spiritual muscles needed to grow a renewed faith. The darkness of loneliness masks itself as enjoyable, enjoyable time apart. Who are we kidding? I need love, I need to be loved, I need community. And the darkness of depression stops us cold. We would move if we could. Nicodemus' darkness would get darker still as he cared for the dead Jesus as he touched the cold body of God's beloved son. And yet in the darkness, Nicodemus continued to move forward. How many times did my mother remind me with those wise proverbial words, it's always darkest before the dawn. And then I'm reminded of another day, early in the morning on the first day of the week, while it was still dark. But surely nothing good can be born out of the darkness. Do you want a list? Let's begin with the world. Out of chaos and darkness, God created a wondrous world. How about the salvation of the world? On that day when there was darkness over all the land, on a Friday we now dare to call good. What about that Easter morning when before the sun rises, our world would meet a risen sun? And so I am bound to wonder, I am forced to ask, what light, what life? is coming to birth in my darkness today. In this Lenten season, I invite you to ask that question. What light and what life is coming to birth in your darkness today?